Hey Auto Fiber team, it's spring cleaning time and I'm gonna show you a little kit that we put together that will get your vehicle clean from start to finish. Check it out. All right, one of my favorite products in the world is American Detailer Garage F-Bomb. For exterior use, I dilute this uh, 10 to one. You can do it 20 to one for interior use. Um, you could do it a little bit more concentrated if you have some buildup, um, but it's a great product. It's very versatile. And so I'm going to suggest this as our first product to you simply because you can use it for so many things. So what I do is I, I pre-treat all of my wheels and tires in F-Bomb. I pre-treat the wheel wells. And then some of the, sometimes what I do, if I have vehicles that have emblems or logos, I might pre-treat those because it loosens the dirt and gets that, um, gets that dirt out of the emblem without having to get in there with like a Q-tip. Another thing I like F-Bomb for is uh, complicated grills. Again, because it's loosening up that dirt, so it's reducing the amount of time that I'm washing the vehicle. Um, you might guess I go through a lot of F-Bomb here. Uh, and it's also pretty good at getting off bugs. So it's a good pre-treatment for the whole front of the vehicle. It usually gets front wheels, wheel wells, and emblems from me. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is clean the wheels. And for that, I'm gonna use the barrel blade, which I'm gonna dampen slightly. And I'm gonna use the wheel paw and I'm gonna show you which each one's for, and then I'm gonna dry it with our wheel flip. Now, if you have a painted gloss black wheel, um, obviously you wanna be a little bit more careful, but the great thing about American Detailer Garage F-Bomb is it's a soap-based product and it's reactivated by water. So I dampen this a little bit in case it's dried, and this barrel blade allows me to get into all these cracks and behind the calipers and you can bend this you know however you see fit or whatever dictates your your wheel dictates rather now the other thing to note is if you use spot free water like we do um, you may not even need to dry the vehicle you could f-bomb it rinse it and that would be a like a quick kind of maintenance wash so to speak um, but most people are going to want to dry it most people don't have spot free systems so sometimes we treat the whole vehicle with F-bomb. Like I said, we use a lot of it, uh, but then we're gonna actually just rinse the vehicle off. Okay, so we have prepped the vehicle with whatever or pre-treated the vehicle and rinsed it with F-bomb, everything that we've wanted to pre-treat. Um, next, most people wanna use soap. Um, you could use uh, American Detailer Garage Fusion, um, but we use an MTM, uh, foam cannon, MTM Hydro foam cannon, and we're gonna be using Auto Fiber Zero cuff mitts in our Auto Fiber wash bucket with grit guards. All right, I like to use the Zero cuff mitt, like I said, I never really put my hand in it, but you can if you want. Um, and you always wanna wash top to bottom, side to side, but I love this mitt. It glides over the surface really easily. The uh, microfiber is super soft. It holds up well to multiple washes. Um, I take it and then I just flip it over. It holds a lot of soap without contaminating the other side, which kind of allows me to clean a little bit more. And I'm being super gentle here. And then every panel or two, we're gonna rinse it out in the grit guard bucket. All right, so instead of using a, a zero cuff mitt or another wash mitt of your choosing, we're gonna use the barrel blade and the wheel paw. We've got foam and we pre-treated this with F-bomb. You saw at the beginning, um, we always pre-treat the wheel wells, wheels at a minimum and tires with F-bomb. So this bends really well in all kind of manner, um, but this wheel paw, the barrel blade bends, but the wheel paw is great for getting into all these spots. So if you saw, we have multiple zero cuff mitts. So even though we're not using the zero cuff mitt on the wheel, we still have a couple zero cuff mitts. We basically have two of everything at a minimum. And that is in case you accidentally drop something on the ground. 
you're going to want to discard that towel until it's a towel or mitt or whatever until it's completely clean. We're going to use our new Dreadnought Max. Uh, we got a bunch of different sizes. Again, though, I'm going to have at least two of each towel in case I drop this um, or in case it gets saturated on larger vehicles. But this holds a good bit of water. After our wheel and tire is dry and we know it's not going to get uh, any weeping water, we're going to use our tire saver applicator and American Detailer Garage Unity to put tire shine on. I always recommend the minimal amount that you'll be happy with. If you put too much tire shine on uh, and it doesn't fully level, it, it's going to sling no matter what product it is. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use American Detailer Garage Breeze as a dedicated glass cleaner and a smooth glass flip on a reacher kit. Now, you can also use a no streak freak or an inside out. Um, again, though, I always have two and I got a whole video that shows you exactly how to do streak free windows. So I'm not going to get into that too much. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to clean off my wife's footprints and other parts using this reacher kit here. You see how I can reach all parts of the car from where I'm sitting. I'm gonna flip it over. It's a great thing about a lot of our towels, our flip series, you can use, uh, use them for longer before they get saturated or dirty. All right, no matter how clean you think you are, uh, we all have oils and dirt on our skin, so especially on armrests and stuff, it get, tends to get dirty. If you have a lighter color interior, it's even worse. Uh, but we have these Scrub Ninjas. They have soft but sturdy bristles, and they're good for cleaning interiors. And you can take American Detailer Garage F-Bomb, and you can dilute it uh, 20 to 1, um, and you can kind of just give it a little bit of a light, gentle scrub. And that's how we clean this stuff. This is going to be much more noticeable on a darker interior or a lighter interior, how clean it gets. And then I'm just going to use one of our Korean plush towels to kind of wipe off the residue. All right. And then if you desire, we got American Detailer Garage Shield, which is an interior protectant. We just spray it directly onto our Korean plush microfiber. You can just wipe that down and work it into the surface. All right, last thing I want to mention is American Detailer Garage Wipeout. Um, they make them in ready to use bottles or you can buy the concentrate and you want about an ounce per 31 ounce per 32 ounces of water. And the reason I recommend having some of this on hand, this is one of our double flip towels, which is designed for rinseless wash is if you need to quick detail something. So say, you know, a bird, you know, poops on the surface here, you can easily come out and use this as a quick detail spray and see how I can flip it around and I can even turn it inside out. And so again, I always recommend having that stuff on hand for bird poop or bug guts or just if you, you want to wipe the car down. All right, so I hope that little bit of a longer video was helpful for you as a kind of a one-stop shop to get you started cleaning your vehicle from A to Z.